All right, what's going on, you guys? Nick here with Nick's Ranking Pokemon. Long time no see, but we've got a couple of interesting MetaZoo stories to cover today. The first being the one of one Mothman, the Topps Chrome PSA 9 Super Fractor of the original Art Topps Mothman. Um, this thing is now up for auction with just three days left. And at the time that I'm recording this video, the highest bid right now is $3,383 which is a lot lower than the initial listing. So this card has been up for a while. It's been graded for a while. It was pulled months ago now. So they started this listing out. This is a consigner deal. So the guy that pulled the card isn't the actual guy selling it. So he consigned it to this guy's page and they're having trouble selling it. Clearly it is not um, selling as quickly or for as much as they were hoping for. So they originally had it for $45,000 or best offer. Then they lowered it, I believe, to 16 or best offer. And then um, they posted on the Facebook page, all the MetaZoo pages, and they were saying they would take 12000 or 10000 plus trade. Um, and then they went and messaged people that had made previous offers. I had made an offer of $10,000, and it got automatically declined. And they had went through and messaged people that had once made an offer, asking if they were still interested. And then they relisted it as an auction. So... Even at the $10,000 mark, this card was not selling. Now, the first version of this card, ungraded, the first one of one Mothman, had a bounty of $30,000 on it. That was bought by a guy named Bailey, who runs a company called Live Pokey Auctions, and he bought it for $30,000, honoring that bounty. And again, that was the alt art version of the Super Fractor. There's three total that we know of. Um, or I'm assuming there is a Cryptid Cam version of the alternate art Mothman in a one of one version. But so far, just the regular and the alternate art have been pulled in a one of one. The, the speculation is there's still one remaining and it has not been pulled. So of the two that were pulled, one was ungraded, the alt art. That went for $30,000. This one graded a nine and it seems like it's struggling to hit $10,000. I don't think anybody um, that made, I, I, thought, I thought more people than me had made an initial offer of $10,000. And if they really went through and messaged people that had made those offers and none of them were still interested because just just seeing the trajectory of this thing, I was no longer interested at $10,000. And I made that offer maybe a little over a month ago, maybe a month and a half ago. Um, so what is this card going to go for? It's got three days left. It's only at $3,383, one-tenth, 10% of what the previous Mothman had sold for. Is it because of the dying hype in MetaZoo? Is it because of the overall just kind of a market shift right now? It seems like a lot of people are uninterested in MetaZoo completely. Um, or is it the fact that it graded a nine? There was a little bit of mystique with the other card, um, the fact that it was ungraded. I don't know if it has been since graded. Um, or is it the fact that people thought that bounty was crazy and there's only one person willing to pay that $30,000 and that number was just totally arbitrary and no one else <laughs> was even close to that number. I think this card at this point in the market, it's going to settle a little over $5,000. I, I struggle to think that this auction is going to hit 10,000. I think it'll probably be a little over five, but the fact that at $16,000, when it was 16,000 or best offer, I feel like a lot of people probably made an offer of $10,000 or at least the core kind of high rollers of MetaZoo collectors probably made a $10,000 offer or somewhere around there. And I think now someone might get a really good deal on this auction if it goes for less than five, which I think is totally possible at this point. You can't really deny the kind of fading interest and not only MetaZoo, but the, the Topps Chrome set in general, once people realized how easy it was to pull a serialized card, I think it became a little bit less of a, a less of a, um, What's the word? A less less adrenaline from pulling a serialized card? There's all these different variations of Mothman that you can get serialized. Obviously, there's only one, one of one. But I think the allure of pulling a serialized card as people started to open, especially those target boxes, every other box had a hit. And I think it started to be kind of diminishing returns on the excitement. And now maybe no one really cares. Um, but yeah, I, I might place a bid. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Are you going to place a bid? I don't know. I think this is going to be an interesting one. Now, next up in the news, there's another really interesting listing here. And again, kind of a pessimistic outlook here on the future of MetaZoo because this is a listing that includes quite a few MetaZoo Grail items. Now, this is listed by the guy Hyperbole. He's also a streamer. He's also a YouTuber. He's a pretty well-known 
figure in the MetaZoo community. Now, in this listing, which is $35,000 or best offer, he's got the Pristine 10 CGC Golden Ticket. He's got a MetaZoo Kickstarter box. He's got a Blue Ink in there. He's got the secret rare Fresno Nightcrawlers that you could pull from the Dimac collection. And I think he's got like a random Kickstarter blister pack in there and then a couple other random CGC graded cards. But this was a little bit interesting for me to see because he had originally listed just the golden ticket for I think it was like $80,000 or best offer. And I think to anybody, if anyone's a serious MetaZoo collector, that golden ticket being numbered out of five, well, it's not officially serialized, but there's only five in existence and supposedly redeemable for some crazy like stock in the company or something, something really big. It's the best of all the tickets. There's a gold, silver, bronze, all of them available in wilderness. The gold is the best. I believe there's only been two pulled. This is the only one available for sale so far. And for it to go with a Kickstarter box, which I think right now are selling for about $2,000, and then also to have the blue ink, which is probably about a thousand dollar card right now, unless it was a, a PSA 10 for those to be included. And it's all under thirty five thousand dollars and you can make an offer probably a lot lower than that. It seems like that's definitely a pretty clear indicator of the direction that MetaZoo has been going. I mean, this is about as grail as it gets outside of like sample Mothman or play tester cards or prototype cards. These are some of the like highest most premium MetaZoo collectible things that we're seeing sold and they're just going lower and lower and lower, but they're starting out at these really high, maybe unrealistic numbers. And then they're just relisting for lower and lower and lower showing that really the interest just is not there, which I find to be a little discouraging, but I think it's also interesting. And I'm curious to see if this even does sell. And I'm curious to see if the Mothman does sell to a legitimate bidder and actually gets paid for, or if it goes for maybe some higher amount and then it doesn't get paid for and gets relisted, then we're really going to see what the level of interest here is for MetaZoo right now. Now we got the Mothman Festival right around the corner. I will be there. My buddy Chris will be there. I hope to see a lot of you guys there and I'm still going to be there um, for MetaZoo. That's the reason we're going, but it's also a really fun festival. So I hope to see a lot of the MetaZoo fans there. I'll probably bring um, some booster boxes or something to open. We'll probably do a meetup at a bar or something. I hope to see Argos there as well. And I wanted to mention and congratulate Argos because I saw that Argos finally deservedly got his own MetaZoo card. It's a stamped aura card that says Argos in the corner, which I need to, I need to get my hands on one of those, but I thought that was really cool. I'm showing it on the screen here now. Um, so shout out to Argos, but I hope to see a lot of you guys at the Mothman festival. I think Argos is still planning on going. I'm going, like I said, and I think probably both the people that I just mentioned that are selling these cards will probably be there as well, because who, if you pulled the one of one Mothman, I think you've got to at least celebrate by going to the Mothman festival. And I'm sure um, hyperbole will probably be there as well, but I hope to see you guys there in West Virginia, Point Pleasant Mothman festival. I believe it's the 14th. So we're like three weeks away right now. Um, and it's going to be fun. It's a really good time. I went last year. It was a blast. So I hope to see a lot of you guys there. That's all for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Nick Strength and Pokemon signing out.